and then honey smacking. End of life. The day before Thanksgiving, I'm riding around with a battle hardened queen here. I found her amongst a bunch of dead bees and dead yellow jackets. She was one of the few survivors, but she's missing a leg. I thought she was just cold at first, but now that I've looked at her real close, she's missing a leg. She's trembling, not moving real good. She was cold when I found her and barely moving. I've had her in my truck for about 45 minutes now and it's 80 degrees in here, so she's certainly warmed up by now. And had her on this piece of comb, piece of cutout comb that's got some nectar and stuff in it. So she's had plenty to eat. You can see it's been running on my fingers. So she's had the opportunity to eat if she wanted anything to eat. What's up, Rooster Nation? Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster Channel where hobby beekeeping is a weight of life. I know most of you had some kind of a clue, but I feel it's time to reveal my secret identity. Now y'all all know who I really am. <laughs> Yesterday I'd been handling some of this old wax, melting it down. Handling it dry, not melted, just jamming it down in this turkey roaster. Several hours later I was out conducting business. Washed my hands four or five times in the meantime, but I'm walking to my truck and a hummingbird moth lands on my hand, attracted by the smell of that beeswax. You get that in your skin, it takes a little while to go away. That was pretty cool, I thought. I got a couple new BVACs from Tony at the Everything BVAC Company. Uh, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. I do use these on a regular basis. It keeps me in VACs, but purely my opinion, what I think of this stuff, great equipment. I've never had a problem with any of it that I didn't cause. And <laughs> uh, can you see me smiling? Tony, you did great, man. We're on the hunt today for what could potentially be a difficult situation. We got bees coming in the corner here. I've watched them for a few seconds. They are a active, healthy colony, apparently bringing in pollen. October, no, today's November 16th. Oh, outdoor pool toilet, sweet outdoor shower. Not really, not really an ideal time to be pulling bees, but it is 78 degrees today. This guy just bought this house and moved into it and found out it's got a hive in it. He needs them gone. And because of the way the outside of the house is laid, I couldn't figure out if the bees were behind this bathroom or behind this bathroom. Turns out, thankfully, they're in this closet. Get some air in here. This little bump in right here threw me where the upstairs kind of cuts in a little bit. We got a heat signature right in here. That dead bee marks by one side of it and that roach, well actually a little past it, marks the other side. So floor joists run this way. Look at the nail line, you can tell that. So I'm pulling the floor. He's not trying to save it, thankfully, so I don't have to be too careful. But I'm gonna pull the floor back to here and then cut the sub and we'll be in. Well, there it is. It's a nice little hive, nice little late summer startup. See it's not huge. It's only about five inches deep. Gets a little deeper back at the end of that insulation. But you can see the end of it at that ribbon joist back there. I'm just thankful it didn't open up into the back of the chimney. Some of these do and you, you can really get into a mess where you gotta open the walls up to get into, get into the rest of the hive. This is gonna be a pretty easy one. And I got this hive promised to somebody. These bees are getting inside, turning this into their own personal toilet. They crapped on my tripod, crapped on my hand. 
which is why I cover people's stuff up. It's all honey and pollen in that. And then honey smacking. Another good honey frame, honey comb. I got sawdust in all those cells. If there's any eggs or larvae in there, they'd be ruined. The bees will be cleaning that out. No queen on this piece. There we go right there. Evidence of a queen. No doubt she's in there. I just gotta find her. I'm using the through night TT20 on this one. Good little honey proof and waterproof, bulletproof little light. As long as you use the right charger. <laughs> Sucked up some insulation. Hard parts about these in the floor like this, especially when you're limited on space like I am on this one, is I need to be laying sideways so I can kind of hang my head down in that floor to look for the queen, see if she's on the bottom of that floor. You got a better angle than I do from where the camera's sitting. There's not a lot of room in this closet, so I can't lay sideways to this hole to, stick, to lay my head over in there. Kind of having to crane my neck a little bit. Hope she walks down low. Yeah,
got in my way. I might have moved you. There's a queen. You'll see her. Right there walking across the bridge. There's our hiders. I'm introducing this queen back to her group and putting them on the brood that I cut out. I've had the brood and all the bees in my truck with the heat on about 80 all the way home, so they should be just fine. The queen's still moving good, still looking good. I just drizzled some water on the cage just in case she needed a little drink. small colony but there's still a couple thousand bees down in there i don't want to turn her loose just yet until they take to these brood frames i don't want her hanging on the outside of the box while i'm trying to put a lid on it so as soon as they kind of settle out figure out where they need to be or if i have to run them in the box then i'll turn her loose she's down there in the corner with the bees trying to get to her to tender I got bees up my shirt, so I'm gonna cut this and get them out. Look, I told Tony I was gonna rig a handle up on top of my back. Just, oh, look, he did two of them. Just to make it easier to carry, the little backpack straps that he had on it were great, and it had a side pocket that I used to put my hose in a lot, but they, uh, I've ripped two of those off on one side. But man, he put a nice aluminum handle on them. So when you're walking in somebody's house and you carry it up the stairs, you just carry it just like a five gallon bucket. But that is great. What do I do with the new screen over the exhaust? Oh, uh, new redesign with the way you've mounted and screened the motor. Wow, Tony, freaking upgrades. New design on the vent. Even still comes with the backpack straps if you want to wear it on your back while you're working. New charger. So on my BVAC, I really put that thing through its paces. I use it in as commercial a capacity as you could imagine. I'm very hard on it. And I've had to do a few repairs on it, but that's to be expected by the way I use it. Let me see if it came with a charge. Yes, sir. It does come with a parts list and an instruction sheet. Great idea. We got the Velcro on backpack straps. I'm gonna get my little boy dressed up and ready for work today. And this one's going on a job today. Box number two, I believe, is gonna be the same thing, except for it includes a hose. Two hoses. And a modified back nozzle. Sweet! 
Yep, full extra back setup. Two hoses. Modified back nozzle for tight spaces. Tony, Tony, Tony has done it again. It feels good. <laughs> yeah.